Right. We'll go and do the Fists of Fury. Definitely Dune 2 just fin so previewed it to make sure it was an also English too. Cool, you'll have to tell me what it's like, Dune 2. Because I'd like to watch that. What's this? Oh, they all gone. Can't take any of that loot because they're there. I can stick it on the USB and you can watch it on PS4. Yeah, that would be, that'd be excellent. Yeah, that would be cool. Mark. Let's grab that. Respect, Witcher. Right, what's this guy? So barrel hoops, the blades. I've got it all. But I'm guessing you're more interested in blades. Cards. Gwent wouldn't be bad. No, he's monsters. I need biting frost. Oh, I think he might beat us. No spies or anything. Best. He's 
gonna be tight. Ah, we've got a spy. Great. Brilliant. Another spy. We've won this time. Another, that's even better. All right, let's beat him out. Scorch him. your lucky day. Dearest Master Sigvard, I have received your letter. I thus now know that you have a great many doubts regarding the contract I have offered you, and that you clearly suffer from gross misconceptions regarding the nature of a mercenary's trade, something which, given that is a trade use, yourself profess to practice constitutes a highly puzzling paradox so let me inform you that a mercenary is not is not paid for asking questions or listening reservations but for performing a concrete task a task that was described in simple um, unambiguous words you are to capture a siren alive and bring her to me 
if you will not fail in this task, you are no interest to me. As to why I need this siren, or to what I intend to do with her, that should be of no interest to you. If these conditions do not suit you, I am sure I will find another man to refute, who will not refuse my coin. Oh, well. There it is. Let's put all that. Gotcha. Right, let's go back to Fist of Fury. Let's go again. Alright, which way is it? I've got anything in them. Let's just check. Yeah, I must have blasted through this wall earlier. Okay, let's go. See any other question marks? I must have got them all now, then. Alright, we'll go over here then. It says I can watch Twitch on that VR on the Rap Off Meta store. Oh, can you? That's great. on it.
down this way. Absolutely everywhere. Wonder if the R on Quest 2 has GDPORN lol had to separate letters or might moan at me for putting it lol. I don't know. Maybe. Is the sound okay on this? Yeah. Is it yeah. Thank you. 
let's go. Uh, what I do to do. Fist of Fury. Taking us. Why? I don't understand. Greetings. You know me? Aye, I've heard of you. Bolin's been me mate since we were tykes, and you don't save this life. Heard you, uh, hold fights here. You heard right. Try your luck if you like. We're gonna fight. Who's my opponent? Haha, <laughs> curiosity's bit, yeah. His name's Grim. 
Ooh. He's an <laughs> overjack. Spends winters brawling in taverns. Tried to win the championship this season, but twaddle. Nothing came of it. Okay. I'm ready. Fight mercilessly, but do it with honor. Come on! The village crack had faced with tears of joy. Whoa, he's odd. Traveler. Of course, the loser may demand a rematch if he's man enough. Okay. Oh, I'll fight again. As soon as you're ready. He doesn't feel it because he's high. Yeah, definitely. I'm ready. That's oh, crazy. cracking him. In we weren't place, doing nothing. Frank. Not Got to win it. No! Get off me! No way. Fight him again, he knocked me down again. Come back. Wanna fight again? As soon as you're ready, just say the word. End up getting battered loads of times. I'm ready. I haven't done this in quite a while though. In that case, fight. It's tough. Get off me. No. No way. No, uh, this is mad. I've got to win him to defeat the quest. I've got to do him and another guy. The loser may demand a rematch if he's man enough. And then I've done all the thing. Come back. Want to fight again? As soon as you're ready, just say the word. I just got to keep dodging. I'm ready. That's grand. In that case, fight. It's like me at the Chesterfield Royal face with tears of joy. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Get off me. Is. 
This is no way. It's getting me. Be a good smack every time. What? I'm gonna go and do something else if he's beating me. Of course, the loser may demand a rematch if he's man enough. Shouldn't be as hard as this. As soon as you're ready, just say the word. Right, I'm ready. This is the last time, and then we're going to do something else. That's grand. In that case, fight. Come on! Master! Shame you can't shank the bastard. Definitely. You have to fight. You have to fight to me first. Mistake. Come Come on, one more time. Want to fight again? Soon as you're ready. No, me down. This is last time. I'm ready. That's grand. In that case, fight. Can't beat him. No, that's right then, I'm going to do something else. Grim wins it's too tough, that's sixth time now. Because has a lover, he plows them for stamina. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to do something else then. Uh, what we got? Free spirit. No, I've done that one. Um, need loads of books to do that. Let's go back and do this paper chase. What's all these dead animals back in about? Sand. So let's go. Where is it? The king of the wild hunt sailed aboard the Nagalfair, a giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels had advised, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed. Finish main quest. 
Unless anyone's got any suggestions. Why do we have to go? Master Witcher, spare me a wee moment. Oh, he's here. What is it? Got your coin, sir. And a wee gift to thank you for the trust you showed. This blade's the Reckoner. It saved my arse a fair number of times. Oh, a blade. Thanks, Chanfinelli. We'll call it even. One last thing. I'd like to apologize for the whole minging kerfuffle. Fuck, let's go and do this one. The boot flag. When the clock strikes six, ladies start to work their lips. Or go to Spanky's way to the Botello, no doubt. Things are out. Life in both their quite dear. Make like a bowl of yarn on that rifle. Oh, yeah, we're going. No. Cheap shenanigans. I can't see things with these cataracts. Well, they all walked. Ah, I'm going in. Thanks for the stuff. to live, live to spite others. Time is no cook. It keeps going. Food blocks don't usually work nights. Need to come back during the day. We are in day. That's good. A couple more hours, huh? So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we are always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morn, so folks who are dirt in their boots go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him alone. Just who the spit are you? I bet they clap coconuts like Monty Python. Need to talk to the boy. If we don't have to fight, he's going to be a lot higher level. So stand down. Not going to happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well. I've got the crap beat out of me as Gallagher. I'm going to get crap beat out of me again. Whoa. Do you want to fight? No. 
<laughs> What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? They did. Grass on them. I'm investigating the beast on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men. What are they doing? Well, I'm going to grass on them. Making things difficult for me. Nothing. Right, I'm going to grass on them. Obstructing my investigation. Understood. Right. A few days in the clink ought to teach them not to eat official <laughs> Dutchy business. Come on. Well, it is a role playing game, so. Talk to this lad. You're very good with your fists, sir. No, I'm not. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. Yeah? How you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership, where I see to the boots while you stand guard. And as you're the stronger, come morning you take the chamber pot out and help me make mud. Bit about the mud's true? They were right to want to box your ears. I've got to make a living somehow, so... What say you, sir? Partners? Let me think about it. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they've just come off my stunt. A seat, sir, please. So then... Who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. An arrival? Hmm. Indeed. I hear a faint bell ringing. A modest sum might make it sing out loud and clear. How much? Uh, I want some money. 500 crowns. What? I wonder Gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand <coughs> with a big sign. I want a new box too. He's got a good new business brushes, sense. New brushes. And if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get waste water for free. Hmm. Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. Mm. Alright, let's go. Alright. Let's see if we can't figure something out. Look what he's doing. See? <laughs> I knew we'd clinch it. Alright, I'll pay. Guess I can agree to that. A thousand Rip thanks. Off, little I shan't bugger. forget it. Now to the matter at hand. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. A steady patron. Gets his boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No. But you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure you don't know where to find him? Or maybe notice which direction he came from? When I clean goods, sir, I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. Oh, Reed is the vampire. I am, thank you. The local necropolis. The air does wonders for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I have the right question to ask. Young man, you see this vial. One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it, you will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort. And piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art, true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. 
Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. Right. Handled that kid pretty well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning, the right thing to bribe them with. Just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment. Go on then, vampire. Let's see you go. How are you nice. Doing? Ever consider becoming a burglar? A skill like that'd come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. Due to the non payment of rent for the premises used for shopkeeping purposes, the administrative court of Beauclair orders that the tenant Ulrich von Samp do to uh, vacate the premises within several days. Not complying with this eviction notice shall cause a custodial sentence to be imposed on the debtor. The length of the sentence shall be determined by the debtor's court, Bailiff Victor Lamir. Maybe we should talk to him. Glowing thing. Old toy. No use to anyone. Shame. Must have brought someone joy sometime. Let's to the shopkeeper. Dear Master Shopkeeper, For a long, long time I have been asking my parents to buy a toy for Mummy. Always cries and says that we won't have any money. Daddy gets cross when I ask him will he earn some, some and once he nearly hit me. My friends have beautiful toys. Laura is a teddy bear and Michelle has a doll. I got with golden hair, you can brush with a real comb. I, I worry that I will never have a toy, which is why I'm writing to you, Master Shopkeeper. I wanted to write this letter to you a long, long time ago, but I didn't know how to write then. Now, I know if you have a pretty toy that other children don't want, I will look after it and be, ha be happy with me. Please don't laugh at me. I know I'm little, but I also know toys are 
not really alive. They only live in our imagination. But so what? I would love it very much. Eza or Liza, whatever. Rampant rabbit toy for mum just needs two as batteries. <laughs> yeah. What's this down here? Hmm. Somebody fixed this recently. I find these puppets rather disturbing. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. Nice little trinket. No, I find anything special. Sometimes I think I might end up like one of these toys. Freaky. Attic. Let's go. So this is his nest. Suspicious. Dead look You do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renoed. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner we prescribe. You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure. Your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlove killed not of his own accord. The black man has sunk his claws into him. Blackmailer. Any idea what it could be? Detlaf have any enemies? Indeed. Detlaf gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlaf yourself, whoever it is, it is someone new. Who's Renoed? His one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. Because she accepted him. With her <coughs> aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. She's pretty. Ever meet her? Never had the pleasure, alas. She deserted him a time before he came round to save me, though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Mm. Why do you think that? Any signs or clues to that effect? None to be found. Apparently she disappeared one day. Her belongings disappeared with her. Not a scenario one associates with kidnapping. In my humble opinion, she left on her own. Scared off, perhaps, by a bout of Detlaf's rage that revealed his other, more monstrous side. Detlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him? Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Detlaf ever try to find her? I mean, if she was that important, higher vampires have their ways, all kinds. Should have been easy as pie for him. Geralt, as you rightly noted, we are vampires, not miracle workers. He searched for months on end before giving up. Clearly, Renoued knew him all too well, enough to cover her tracks, leave no way for him to find her. Even if Renoued did abandon him that time, looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that, and hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. He's prepared to kill, that's clear. As would you be for Yennefer. He kills, for he cares for her deeply. And that blood, those individuals, they mean nothing to him. Yeah, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. Exactly. Right, so someone's blackmailing him. We know that. Still have no idea who. Need to look around some more. Ooh. Tools were used recently. Detlaf unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really now, Geralt, must you? And 
nice tune. Indeed. I'm not certain why, but it reminds me of home. Our true home from before the conjunction of spheres. Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi, Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron, Count de Lacroix. Detloff's victims, one and all. But that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter, all of it written using the same ink. See the color? Ink was dyed with cinnabarite, rare mineral. Pretty much found only in Nazaire. That tune was on the original The Fog film. Fair enough. Was it? Still worth remembering. Look, this wow. Is with wine. Not much to go on either. Especially not in Beauclair. I knew I remembered it from somewhere. And perhaps also worth remembering. Blackmailer. Kinda curious who it could be. Why is that? Regis. Somebody kidnapped a vampire's lover. Only when the storyteller was beginning. Now they're forcing the vampire to kill. Yeah. A vampire you yourself insisted no murderer. Blackmailer's skilled. Someone special. Hmm. Astute. Now that I think of it, I'm beginning to wonder if... It's not one of your kind? Another vampire? Precisely. The plot thickens. Just a hypothesis. Wouldn't set my heart on it till we know more. Right you are. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Deadlaugh's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. All noted it's a good story, down this is. Same Nazari ink, and not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Deadlaugh's innocence, clearly. Mm. Actually, it is. Deadlaugh's being manipulated. Some lunatics turned him into a tool, making him kill. So it would seem. But this illuminates a path of action for us. We must find Renowit. Render the blackmail senseless. The lunatic or ticks will thus lose hold on Detlaf. That's one idea. Hmm. Could be worth a shot. But what about Detlaf? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Think he'll listen? He will. I'd have wait with you, maybe. No, he'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. Well, wow. that's quite a good story. Well, since there's another floor here. What? We failed a quest? A role playing game. Kim and him alone, he's getting a bungalow. I'm going to have to do this again because I don't want to fail that other quest. Um, I think. 